Hey there, sweet friends. So today I'm gonna give an extra video. I wouldn't normally put out a video on Saturday, but I want to show you how I prepare for my daughter's birthday, which is today we're gonna celebrate. And I am gonna give you a very realistic look at how messy our house is right before this. I'm gonna hopefully clean up and get the decorations out and do a little baking. And I want you to come along with me. I thought it would be fun for you to see a realistic day of prepping and hosting for other people to come in. I'm still in my workout clothes. I'm hoping to get the kids down for a nap and get started and get a shower. We'll see, but I got my workout in today. I took care of myself first. Now I'm gonna tackle all this. Let's do this. Hello there, beautiful friends. We're gonna get ready for my daughter's birthday party. And I was tempted not to show the mess before the decorating, but I think we are all about progress, not perfection here on this channel. And it looks like a ridiculous mess. It's mainly that last night I needed to prioritize taking care of myself and going for a walk and I just left the dinner dishes and this is dinner dishes with lunch dishes and breakfast dishes. And I just, I mean, I want you all to see how messy it can get. And even over here where my kids have been playing this morning and playing with the muffin tins in which I'm going to make actual cupcakes for her party. There's just stuff everywhere. So here it is. A realistic look at my kitchen. <laughs> One day before hosting a party for my daughter turning eight tomorrow. And so we're gonna get all of this cleaned up today and then I'm gonna decorate because she wants a Lilo and Stitch birthday. See, there's random bananas over here, <laughs> shoes in the floor. And yes, my kids can help me with this stuff, but they're finishing up their school day today and I'm here and I'm gonna get my other younger two down for nap and we're gonna tackle this. Let's do it. My husband brought home some leftovers from work. I was pulling out of the fridge. These are all just things that I needed to throw away because I was getting the fridge cleaned out. You can see how full it gets right before a party. She wanted a Lilo and Stitch birthday party. So we're gonna have some salad tomorrow uh, with chicken. I'm actually ordering a pizza for the kids. There's her Stitch cake, super cute. And I'm gonna be making some dip for chips and veggies and then I hope to make some cupcakes before this evening. So come along with me. Let's get what it was about this day, but I just did not want to get out of bed today. I was just feeling so tired and blah. We had rain coming down, pouring down outside and my body was just tired. I've been working hard each day, working out and, and trying to do better. And I just felt the accumulation of it this morning. I shared all of that with my husband and wouldn't you know, he walked over to my side of the bed. He extended his hand to me and said, you can't do this alone. He used the title of my last video <laughs> to motivate me to get out of that bed and just get up and get going because he knew that if I went to move my body and go work out, that I would not regret it, that I would feel the confidence and the momentum that would keep me going forward through the day. And all it took was one outstretched hand to say, you've got this. And I don't know what brought you to this video today. Maybe it was inspiration for preparing for a party or cleaning, but let me tell you that it is so hard to get started. That is the most difficult step. And if you have just been delaying getting started on something that just is weighing on you, maybe it's cleaning, maybe it's working out, maybe it's a task that's been <laughs> in the background, just take the first step. Let me extend my hand to you today and say, you can't do this alone. So play this with uh, that task and get started. You've got this. You can do it. The biggest, most difficult tasks in our lives are accomplished one step at a time. When I looked around at my kitchen this morning, I did not want to get started. It was just a mess. And in the past, if I would have gotten started right away, I mean, I could have jumped in and, and saved time and done it first thing this morning. 
but I've been shifting my mindset to take care of myself first before I pour out. So I decided to head to the gym with the kids. I took my time, I got my workout in, and I made sure to feed myself as well. I had my lunch and everything before I even jumped into this task. So if you're watching this and you haven't nurtured yourself first in some way, don't feel guilt for doing the things or putting them off, you know, until then. Take care of yourself first. And then when you're ready, jump in. After I had taken care of myself, I decided, okay, we need to tackle this kitchen. And I have a few mental strategies that I use. One of the first things is I like to group things together. So I knew that the dishes were scattered all over the island and I was going to kind of gather them together and scrape off what was trash into the trash bucket. It really helps when you get rid of trash first as well. That That's another thing. I like to go around with a trash bag and just pick up all the miscellaneous things that are trash. So first I clear out the trash, then I group things together. I try and get things over closer to the sink. And then I like to go around and pick up some stray items that are out of place, like the jackets my kids left on the couch or shoes on the floor or toys spread about. And the other thing that has really helped me is not waiting till the whole process is done to do something nice or rewarding for yourself. So for example, I try and take an area, a small area while I'm cleaning and go ahead and make my favorite areas beautiful. So I love our island. I think it's gorgeous. We are so blessed to have this kitchen. I truly believe that. And the island is so pretty and it really just brings me joy in my heart to set some flowers on it or light a candle. And so one of my first strategies is to get that whole area cleared off. I try and group all the dishes over by the sink so that I can spray and clean my island thoroughly. That gives me just a joy and a momentum going forward because sometimes you just need to see one little corner, a corner that you like, clean and nice. And maybe once you've cleared away that tiny corner, light a candle in it or put something pretty in it just to kind of make your brain smile and say, look, you did this. Because I think sometimes when we try and just clean everything all over, we get overwhelmed. And just like with exercise, one step at a time, one day at a time that I'm taking it, it's the same with this. You have to take one small item at a time, one corner at a time, and work your way through it. Once the island was clean and the candle was lit and the flowers were there, it just it just kind of calmed me and I realized, okay, I can do this now. It cued my brain. Then I went to kind of clear away the seating area, the couch, and, and just as area by area started to get clean for me. Then you realize your brain just switches gears and it's no longer fighting the idea of, am I going to clean? Am I not going to clean? It just commits to, we're doing this and we're doing it now and we're going to work hard and get it done. And so just get going, just get started, just take the first step. And you know what was so funny about this? I had the whole video sped up, but once I started, I was dreading this. I think I thought it would take me hours, but I was in a time crunch. My children, I finally got them down for nap and I had about 25 minutes before my older kids would arrive home from school. And I got all of this done, all of the cleaning part done. Now, not the baking. I had to save that for later. Um, all of the cleaning done, 25 minutes. Isn't that incredible? I mean, it's a, we make these tasks so big in our brain, but once we actually get started, they're usually not as bad as we imagine them to be. That dish or that pan that you hate scrubbing out and is sitting on the counter and you've just, you've put it off, I know what that's like. I, I hate scrubbing out pans. I'll clean all the other dishes before pans or awkward bowls. And that thing that you put off, if you would just tackle it, it would be done in minutes. It's just our brains, the energy to get through that thing is so hard. So just, just taking the first step, just soak it in some warm water, add a little soap, pick up your scrub brush and start moving. You have got this friend, you can do this today. I'm just here to encourage you. 
Now, I love decorating for my daughter's birthday parties. That is one of the motivating factors for me with cleaning. Everything I got that's gonna be in this video was from the dollar store, believe it or not, except for the banner behind the table. That was Amazon, and I can link that below. But she is in love with Lilo and Stitch, and almost a year ago, she started asking for a Lilo and Stitch birthday party. So it's just my joy to look up the things for her and kind of find the little fun things to decorate. And I love the dollar store right now has all this luau themed stuff. And so since Lilo and Stitch, if you don't know the movie, the Disney show, uh, it takes place in Hawaii. And so I thought, let's run with the luau theme. I'm going to get <laughs> flowers and pineapples and luau, you know, and uh, lots of luau themed things. And they have these really cute tablecloths that I've used. All of that is where my decorating came from. And it just really comes together to make a cute little table setting. I'm not trying to, you know, go buy the best of the best things for something that will be disposable and used one time. So this is just for her to have fun with tomorrow. And then the last thing I needed to do to prep for the day was uh, to make some cupcakes. Now, I, I ran out of steam after decorating because my kids had gotten home from school, the other kids were up from nap, and it was just, it was a long day. And I told my husband, we had to take a break, we had to get dinner on the table. So trust me, when you see things in sequence in this video, that is not the timeline. It, it took till like l late at night, almost maybe eight o'clock before I could start these strawberry cupcakes. And, oh, I keep saying strawberry, I mean raspberry. These were a Weight Watchers recipe that I had looked up to give me um, a low point option, a healthy option for tomorrow when everyone else is having cake. So these were only two points. They were made with raspberries and lemon, lemon juice, lemon zest, Greek yogurt, applesauce. I will link all of the recipe below. They were relatively quick and easy to make. I will just say it was my first time ever trying them, so there was a learning curve. <laughs> but I enjoy baking, and I actually find it very soothing and therapeutic. And I just want to throw in here that my amazing husband, after I finished, you know, I had cleaned the kitchen earlier, and then we had dinner, and it kind of messed parts of it up again. And, and even baking here messed some parts up again. But my husband stepped in, and he came in and cleaned everything up after I was done baking well, I got to enjoy uh, taste testing one of these lovely muffins. You know, I say muffins. Actually, they're cupcakes. I think because I'm thinking they're healthy, they're like a breakfast muffin. Well, anyways, it was such a joy bringing you all along with me as I prepped for my daughter's birthday. And I hope you join us again soon.